Pastor Joe and I in a car again. So unusual. Out the road again. And we're having discussions, which happens when you're in an enclosed space. With I Pastor have Sister Joe. Kate trapped. She can't get away. She has to talk to me. And we were discussing. You said idiot adults who don't listen. <laughs> I wanted to put that in a nicer way. <laughs> well, that was the Pastor Joe side of it. Now you can put it in the sweet sister game. We have found in our ministry that we are often giving advice. And you're to talking over years of ministry. Ministry, right. Since 30, 2006. Yeah, whatever, 20, 30, 25, whatever. Um, adults who want advice, who have made a mess of their lives by decisions they have made, and then they want to figure out what they did wrong and how to get out of it. And so when they come to us and we counsel them either together or individually, um, we give them our best advice based on our own lives and experiences. Which are pretty squared away. And knowledge and, and uh, wisdom that we learned from our lives. And we what bona fides do we have of, of that, right? The fruit come from our relationship and our ministry and so on. And I'm not claiming we're Joel Olstein successful. We're just, you know, a couple who have had uh, some churches. Um, and generally speaking, done pretty well with them. That's not to say it's 100% everyone leaves to their satisfaction but just in general. So, now that we're getting long in the tooth and gray in the beard and silver on the head, um, our time is getting precious to us. We, you know, we have grandchildren, we have our children, we have our homestead. And so, what we were talking about is it's really frustrating for us if we, if someone comes to us makes us stop what we're doing, which is trying to get our homestead in the, in the uh, finished way that we want it, interrupts our schedule, and we have to take time out to go and talk to them. No, it's not that we take time out to go and talk to them, it's what happens next that's right. irritating. Right, and then give them the advice based on what they tell us, because we can only do it based on what they tell us. We're not mind readers. Say, this is the way to get out of your predicament, and then they ignore it. Yeah, but... Yeah, but you don't understand. Yeah, but I have a mitigating circumstances. Here's... I'm, gonna, I'm just going to give it to you straight. Pastor Joe style. Own your reality. Okay. Maybe you don't want to live a peaceful, quiet life away from a lot of people, enjoying the work of your own hands, which is biblical. The whole thing that we're talking about is living a biblically promised life. If that's not for you, if you want to be caught up in drama with your family or you want to be living in downtown New York City and enjoy having a geese, um, a bagel from a place around the corner and uh, Ethiopian food around the other corner and a bookstore on the other corner and all the traffic and all the people and the crime and the dirt and, and the everything. Don't come to us and ask us, oh, gee, I, you know, I'm not happy in New York City. It's hot and it's crowded and blah, blah, blah. And want us to pat them on the head and say, it's, oh, okay. it's okay, you're doing fine. <laughs> Yahweh will provide you with the free air conditioner. No. We're going to give you the, our advice on our choices, the, the way we made it to where we are. We are relatively happy with, with what's going on. Just own the fact that you want to be in a horrible situation. <laughs> Just own it. Just say, yep, you're absolutely right. I cannot. Christmas at my house when my family gets drunk and we beat each other beat each other up and yell at each other and storm out of the house and slam doors and crash cars is my happy place. If that's what you're going to do year in and year out and people tell you don't do that, that's just a waste of your time, you know, learn the truth about Christmas and celebrate a, a feast that the God 
uh, made and told you to keep, if you want to just go get in that brawl with your family, then do it. Own it. Don't whine about it. Don't complain to people. Don't come to work and say, you know, I got another black eye at my Christmas party. And, right? Just own that. The same as you're going to own, I don't want to party. I don't want to have any animals. I don't want to get married. I don't want to have children. I don't want to stay home. I just want to go to my job 40, 60, 80 hours a week in my fancy clothes with my hair did and and work for somebody else. Just own that if that's really what you are going to continue doing no matter what anybody tells you and save us some time and trouble because we're over it. We're done with that. We've talked ourselves blue in the face and spent hours and hours and hours on people who just ignore common sense advice. And we're getting too long in the tooth to bother anymore. Is that nice enough, honey? All right. I have patience. Thanks for listening. Shalom.